Hi, and welcome to the homework for Lesson 4. This is Module 3 of Grade 1. Get your name on here first. And we're uh, measuring the length of uh, pictures with centimeter cubes. Um, I'm using uh, centimeter squares because I can't really show cubes with what I have for my computer. So here's how you do it. The important thing to th remember is that you've got endpoints here and you just don't want to have any gaps or overlaps when you put your centimeter cubes over that. So here's one, two, three, four. That's four cubes. That's how we're going to do it. Four cubes. And now we've got a stamp. One, two, three, four. We've got a little bit of a gap here. Let's move that over. All right, four, and then we need five. That's about as good as we're going to get it to look. So that's uh, five cubes. And then we'll look at this purse. And I think it's probably going to end up being about the same. One, two, three, four, five. Yep. Five cubes long. The reason, there's a reason why we're using cubes uh, and we're counting squares instead of just using a ruler. Uh, rulers are like number lines and number lines are surprisingly they're a pain to use. They really are. Uh, so it's just the idea is that one of these squares is a unit and we're counting squares because squares are your unit, units, whatever you count. So we're counting our units, we're counting squares. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there's seven centimeter cubes long. Now that what, what happens a lot of times with rulers is uh, first graders will count the numbers on the ruler and this, so they'll count if there's a zero line they'll count the zero line as one of the numbers which means they'll always get they'll get if they count the numbers instead of the spaces in between the numbers which is what you're really counting when you're counting centimeters uh, it, then they'll me their measurements will be off they'll be one too large so that's why we're starting out we're counting centimeters you can't mess that up um, be, being confused with the numbers and here's our second page and we've got a bow to measure so we've got some more cubes here one two three we're counting centimeters and that's three centimeters and now we're looking at the cookie Two, three, four, five. So that one's going to be five centimeter cubes long. And now I've got a coffee mug. This looks like it's going to be less than five. I'm guessing, I'm going to make a guess that it's going to be three. One, two, three. And how did I guess three? Well, because two is not enough, 
and four is too many. All right, next we have to look at this thing of ketchup. And that looks like it might even be longer than the cookie, but it's, a, I guess it's going to be either five or six. One, two, three, four, five. So, we go five. And now we have an envelope to look at. So that's that's going to be right right on that end point. One, two, three. That's four. Four. And now we're looking at uh, pictures with of spoons with centimeter cubes and it says circle a picture that shows the correct way to measure. So looking at A, we can't call this three centimeter cubes because our spoon is here but our endpoints for our centimeter cubes are not lined up with the end points of the spoon. So we can't call that three centimeter cubes there. Now if we look at B, four centimeter cubes. We do have four, one, two, three, four cubes, but there's gaps in here. So it's, it looks like it's actually more than four. And then this doesn't go all the way to the end either. There's all kinds of problems with here. So it's not going to be that one. And these four centimeter cubes are all overlapping each other. So it's not really four, you know, end to end. It could, it might only be three. Uh, I'll look at this one here. This says four centimeter cubes. And this is this is a correct way to measure. I'm gonna circle this picture. And this has four, it's not really four centimeters. Is it four centimeter cubes? One, two three, four, it is four, it is four. And the endpoints match up here. And this matches up, the end of the spoon matches up with the endpoint of the fourth uh, square or cube. So that's that's four, there's no gaps, there's no overlaps. So that, that's, a, that's a good measurement. And then 11 says, what is wrong with the measurements for the pictures we did not circle? So with A, the problem was the endpoints don't match up, right? So for A, the endpoints don't match. For B, there are gaps. And C was wrong because there's overlaps. C has overlaps.